Hey, how's it going, Michael? My name is Jack here with Mr. and Mrs. Leeds. We are a online marketing and website design company. And uh, what I wanted to do was follow up and go ahead and actually do this video analysis for you um, on top of that site audit that you received. So hopefully by in the mail you should have gotten a site audit um, that basically kind of runs through your site and sees what kind of SEO metrics that need to be fixed and what's working well for you. If you haven't gotten that, go ahead and email me back and I'll um, make sure that you do receive that. Now, um, what I wanted to do is go ahead and actually do this video analysis on top of this and actually um, show you exactly what I can see as a search marketer and what we need to do to further improve your SEO, um, something that uh, not the report might not speci specifically pull up for you. So um, without further ado, let me go ahead and actually dive into the nitty gritty of this video analysis. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to um, hop over to uh, one of our tools called AREFs. Uh, AREFs allow search marketers like myself to look at the metrics of a site and see exactly where you're at in terms of your SEO. So uh, what I can see right off the bat is that there has been some SEO work done on the site. The reason being is you have 194 referring domains and and that's happened since around January of 2016 is when you started getting those uh, links to the page. Uh, the one thing that I am concerned is about the quality of the backlinks because um, you have very low DR, which probably means that um, some of these links are a little bit spammy. And so that's something that we want to uh, take a look at if we were to tackle this project on together. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we point the most relevant and most uh, um, good quality links. And so if we don't have quality links, sometimes it's a better idea to actually disavow them and actually um, remove them from your link profile and then start building up a healthy link set to show Google that you're a trustworthy site that gets links from trusted sites and your authoritative site because um, you're getting a lot of those kinds of sites uh, linking back to your site. So um, that's one of the first things that I would look into, 719324 uh, or 716 Buffalo Towing Service Roadside Assistance. Um, you hit everything. You know what? The one thing that I would do is um, rather than a phone number, and I, and I know why you'd be doing that, um, it might be help to help like get that number through to people's um, head. Um, ideally, what you want to do actually, instead of um, having that phone number on your title tag, I would recommend that you actually add that to your meta description. And then they'll still be able to see the phone number and Google will be able to pick up that phone number and instead on the top actually build out your brand because um, Buffalo Towing Services, Buffalo Towing. And so it would be called Buffalo, oh no, wait, so okay, so the, is this your exact match domain? Let's take a look real quick. Buffalo Emergency Roadside Assistance.com. So yeah, okay, so this is your brand name, so we definitely want to um, keep it that way. Um, I think if anything, we would make the brand name here and then uh, distinguish it from the other uh, roadside assistance and the, uh, the phone number on there. But um, I see, I see what we did here. We looked for like an exact match uh, brand name and to build it out that way um, to put the keyword to kind of help Google. Uh, kind of, um, it's a neat little trick to help like brand a specific uh, exact match uh, keyword with your brand name. So, all right. So um, the next thing I did was I hopped over to the organic keywords tab. This allows me to basically look at uh, what kind of keywords you currently rank for as well as some of the metrics behind those keywords. So you'll see right here, Buffalo Towing. It looks like you have the number one spot, which is fantastic because that is, one, your uh, brand name, and two, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's one of the main keywords that has to do with tow. So number one spot there, number one spot there. So great job there. Tow Truck Buffalo NY. Looks like you have the second spot and tow, Towing Buffalo NY. So you can see how these are a little bit different by saying Tow Truck and Towing, but you have two different um, rankings for these and they have two different searches um, and so uh, looks like you're on the number second spot uh, just one spot of improvement that you can make and looks like you're on the sixth spot for this keyword and definitely um, uh, a little bit of improvement as well because uh, the number one spot uh, in the top of Google gets the majority of the lion's share for the keyword search that people search into. Towing company Buffalo NY uh, 3, 2, 2, okay. So what I can see kind of right off the bat when I look at this is that there are a ton of different keywords that people are typing into Google that not necessarily have to do with towing and buffalo, but it has to do with a lot of other like, random things that people are typing, like door unlocking service, right, um, in buffalo, uh, you know, car unlock service, there's towing, and there's roadside assistance, and all that stuff, so it looks like you're not ranking for any roadside assistance keywords, so that's something that we would have to take a look at as well. So. Um, 
you know, I don't know if you're doing your SEO yourself. I don't know if you've hired someone to do the SEO. I don't know if maybe you're purchasing links on Fiverr or this and that. Um, but if we were to take this uh, SEO seriously and really uh, ramp it up and um, do it from an SEO company that kind of does this in day out, day in and day out, what we would do is basically we would uh, do our keyword research, right? So we make sure we go after the most optimal keywords that, that has a decent amount of search volume as well as uh, low keyword difficulty for us to be able to rank you for those keywords. And from there, uh, start working on ranking you for those keywords as long as it makes sense with your business and where you're trying to take your business in the next 3, 6, 12 uh, five years and so we want to make sure that we work around that schedule and go ahead and come up with our SEO plan of attack that has to um, uh, follow that that kind of um, guidance right and then from there uh, we'll make sure that we go ahead and do our outreach and things like that we don't order links from Fiverr uh, we have our, our methods of being able to um, get you powerful and trustworthy links uh, Fiverr is um, is is not a good just being 100% honest and authentic with you um, Fiverr is not a good way to do it. The reason being is when you purchase uh, links for Fiverr, actually I don't I don't know if you are purchasing Fiverr, but let me go ahead and explain it anyway. Um, when you purchase uh, links from Fiverr and like these random vendors, what happens is you pay a one-time fee, right? And so um, sure you might get that link and it might be placed for the next 20, 30 days, but these guys that where you pay a one-time fee for the links, um, they have no incentive to keep your link on there, right? So after the first three or four weeks when they can send you the report and, and you can see that you've received those links, um, they have no incentive to keep those uh, links live. So if you check two or three months down the line and look at all of those reports, I guarantee 90% of them are going to be 404s and broken links that um, you're not getting actual links from. And if they are not, then they're probably way far down uh, in, the, um, uh, in the back pages that um, hardly have passed any link power. And so I would recommend avoiding doing that. And we have our own methods where we basically have it permanently on there and um, really get you those powerful links to get you ranked even higher for these keywords and get you found for even more keywords. All right. So the last thing that I want to do is really talk about your website real quick. I think the website uh, serves its purpose. You have your uh, text and your information on here. You got your phone number at the top left, Buffalo Towing Services, MCH Enterprises, and you get your phone number right here. So, and it is a click to call. So that's good. Uh, I just, I just think that we could do a little bit more in terms of filling the site out. So, what we want to have is kind of like an about us page. So now, uh, now I'm kind of getting into like the nitty gritty of uh, conversion rate optimization because once we start getting you ranked for these keywords, it's not just about bringing traffic to the site, right? What we need to do is actually convert that traffic into people that are going to call you or fill out a contact form, and so. Um, in order for us to be able to convert more people that visit your site, we need to have certain things in place that people are subconsciously or consciously uh, thinking about when they visit the site. So one, um, most people are looking to see kind of the, the faces behind the owners or the employees. Um, it's just a powerful signal where um, people can tie the, the business with the website and the owner. And so it's, it shows legitimacy to the site and it helps um, uh, tie the, all of that together. So we want to make sure we have that on there um, moving forward. Uh, some of the other things that I would look into is to make sure that we have um, a page that's uh, specifically targeting the keyword that we want to go after. So flatbed towing service, local towing. Um, do you see how you are ranking for things that have to do with like, a, like car unlocking, that kind of thing? So I, I recommend building out a page for something like that as well. And then yeah, um, I would make this contact form a little bit more prominent or maybe make it like a call to action like right at the top, like contact us. And then if they click the contact us, it would um, take them to this section right here that people can fill out and hit the submit button. This address bar right here, I think is a little bit, um, a little bit too much. I would just do a name, number, email, and comment. And then you can hit the submit button, and then and then if they want to give you the address and things like that, then they'll go ahead and, and do that, and you can move forward with the process. But just having to fill out an address right here is going to deter a lot of people from actually filling out the form, which is going to lower your conversion rate. And so that's another thing that I would look into. All right, Michael, so I hope that at the very least you got some insight out of this. would love to talk to you further about how we'd be able to help you and be able to implement a lot of the things that I talked about here in this video. All right, thanks and have a great day.